Get ready for the absolutely most ridiculous thing you've ever heard when it comes to former President Barack Obama and his arrogant distaste for sitting President Donald Trump. Obama was overseas, following Trump's footsteps, going on tour speaking himself up, talking Trump down, and finding another way for honest hard-working Americans to once again dislike Obama. As if not being allowed to keep your doctor was bad enough, then this is right up that same very alley of leftist lunacy. Obama discussed the conditions of old Germany and the Nazi camps when he made a point about Donald Trump. One might think that's a very distasteful thing to do considering Adolf Hitler killed millions of people in one of the largest genocides of human civilization. Does Obama want people to think that Trump will kill millions of people? Is Obama trying to convince people that Trump is the second coming of Hitler? I thought for sure we would see the second coming of Jesus before this, but if I go by Obama's silly comparisons and Godwin's law nonsense, then I suppose the end of days is coming now that Trump is president. Of course, that's nonsense. There's no comparison between Trump and Hitler that would make anyone think they're in imminent danger, let alone the precursor to an American genocide. M. Political Reports In an interview with CBS, Obama suggested we could have an American genocide akin to what happened in Nazi Germany with Donald Trump as president inferring that Trump could be responsible for millions of deaths of Americans, even though the resemblance and culture is nothing of the sort, nor even close to being remarkably similar in any fashion whatsoever. Obama was speaking to the Economic Club of Chicago when he made the caustic remark, in comments captured by Chicago business political columnist Greg Hines. According to Hines, Obama warned Trump's nativism and distrust of the press would cause our democracy to fall apart quickly. Obama then made the connection between Trump and Hitler, warning 60 million people died, when the world became complacent. Hines described Obama's comments as remarkable. Hyperbolic would have been a more appropriate description. Here's what Greg Hines wrote on Twitter. He tagged President Trump and former President Obama in his message that referred to Nazi Germany. He does not shy away from calling upon Obama and noting that this is Obama's comments. Greg Hinn's tweet said take that, at real Donald Trump, at Barack Obama makes clear his view that a complacent America could be headed the way of Nazi Germany. Read his remarkable comments at hashtag Economic Club of Chicago. At Barack Obama today, does Hins believe this malarkey? America going down the deep dark path of Nazi Germany is more likely to be the plot of a fictional novel, not a reality. There are too many great people in America who wouldn't allow anything bad to happen to our country nor our people. Americans work harder and closer together when they're under attack. To think Americans would ever get close to a Nazi-like genocidal suicide mission and destroy our great country is nothing short of a liberal mentality though provokes the sleeping beast. Every time the beast wakes up, it looks around the room, gives a slight shrug, and returns to its beautiful stage of napping until called upon for something that matters. Still, the U.S. has survived tough times before and will again, he, Obama, noted particularly mentioning the days of communist fighter Joseph McCarthy and former President Richard Nixon. But one reason the country survived is because it had a free press to ask questions, Obama added. Though he has problems with the media just like Trump has had, what I understood was the principle that the free press was vital. The danger is growing complacent. Obama said, We have to tend to this garden of democracy or else things could fall apart quickly. That's what happened in Germany in the 1930s which, despite the democracy of the Weimar Republic and centuries of high-level cultural and scientific achievements, Adolf Hitler rose to dominate, Obama noted. 60 million people died. So, you've got to pay attention and vote. Did someone mention complacent and forget to mention smug white liberal men? Did someone really just do that? America can be as complacent as they wish. If America does a great job, then what's wrong with a little bit of self-satisfaction? As long as we don't lower our levels of satisfaction to something that would be a detriment to our country, then it's okay to give yourself a pat on the back once in a while. Anytime someone mentions Hitler, Nazi Germany, 
and Trump in the same generic comparison, then you have to take it with a grain of salt and understand it's not to be taken seriously. Trump is not Hitler. Trump will not murder millions of people. If someone believes in that, then they really need to sit down and honestly think about what they're saying and how offensive it is to anyone who is Jewish.